Hey everybody, it is Monday fun day. <laughs> well, in the garage, a little bit of fun, lots of work to do. As you can see, Emrys is down to a chassis and some suspension. I've been uh, taking, just took off the calipers and getting ready to remove the whole front end on this bike. I'll be pulling off the GP forks. The clip-ons, the dash, the, the triple, and so then I can just rock it all out and then eventually take apart Morlix's front end and put it all on there. Take that electronic stuff off of there and uh, put on the dash from Amris, which will be compatible with the ECU from Amris, which is RCK3 enabled with the HP power unlock, RC3K unlock, and then we can use the Tune and the traction control, DTC, ABS, quick shifter, all those parameters will be then automatically thrown onto Morelix here. So making use of the ECU, and, uh, and pretty much you gotta swap the key, so that's why I'm gonna, as well, in the combo, it's the key, ECU, and dash, and of course the gas cap if you had one. So that whole thing will be swapped over. You can see I kind of figured out a way with the, the narrow lift to uh, get the rear end off the ground so I can do the shock a little bit off the ground so I'm not bending over quite as much. <laughs> and I need to get the front end obviously up on the pit bull stand on Emrys. And then I'm going to need to have the bodywork off, the rear wheel off, and get the the same stands on Merlin, these same side stands, and so I can get the shock off of Merlin, which unfortunately I just put on there and cleaned. If you checked out the other channel, I just did all that stuff. But uh, due to timing, I got to do it again. And I, as well as the ECU, I got the Power Commander 5, which came off of Emrys. And so that is going to be installed as well. So I got you pretty much just plug it into the existing lines. So one, two, three, and what the? Some more emissions crap in here. This is different for, for the California models too. Oh, and then there's the fourth one hiding right there. See this bracket and stuff. So I got to figure that out. That's a new thing to figure out. The California models have. Oh, bunch of extra emissions and uh, you can see the electronic shock back there obviously got to figure out all those here's this mechanism that's gonna have to be come out as well and you know I'll eventually get chain and sprockets and new chain on there and uh, all the safety wired up for racing so a uh, little ways still to go guys um, actually this bin that Robert has is really handy it's kind of like a sled. It's pretty big. You could put a kid in it and put him down the hill outside. But, uh, and of course speed bleeders. We got to get the speed bleeders into an overall this bike. Take a look at the table of work. Oh, yeah, and the battery took freaking 30 seconds before it said it was stored correctly. So the battery, after sitting for, you know, a year, took 30 seconds to top it up and that was it. And here's the cush drive off of Emrys and the calipers with the EBC GP FAX 604 pads still in there. Here's all the bolts and hardware that's been coming on and off. And of course, you know, I got some extra tools and I brought all my spare bolts, bins, washers and stuff. This is all Pro Bolt aluminum. And of course, you know, your knickknacks. So you have spares of everything from parts bikes and everything else. So it's important to have, and underneath that, that's actually for hardware for the trailer to do like the pit bull restraints or work on your trailer. Uh, Cause that, we're gonna epoxy the trailer floor and or Robert's gonna, and I'm gonna supervise. <laughs> and uh, then we gotta figure out what to do with all this body work, whether Robert wants to keep it or sell it. And, we're going to try some different seats. So here's his original HP seat, but he says it's really hard. This one done by Apex Stitching. And then I got that huge bad boy in there by Apex as well. Oh, here's the lower section. 
And here's his upper. We're probably going to use the black stuff. Here's one of the wheels. Here's that stock exhaust, really heavy. And of course, his front end, which he could keep for just uh, throw in the office on the wall, radiator. Um, oh, yeah. There's that nice paint job by TJ Surrett. Thank you again, TJ, for making Merlin look freaking awesome. You can see the red trying to come through the black because it was uh, the paint changes color in the light from black to blood, wine red. 199.99 rear wheel maximum horsepower after running four or five runs at 198, 199, 199. So it's consistent 198, 199 rear wheel horsepower. 89 torque. We had 89.32. So here's some other bodywork. His nice tank. We got some more pit bull in the mail. So that's for the trailer and some other doodads. And here is the other seat by Apex. Well worth it. Thanks again, EBC, for the sweet stool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I got a lot more work to do. Let me go show you guys outside. We'll see what's going on outside. Let's go check out the snow. It's going to be cold. It's going to be cold. Just wearing my t-shirt. Holy crap, it is snowing out. Let's look through the window first. Still snowing. Let's go check it out. Somewhere in Washington, top secret location. I'm gonna be freezing after this. Oh, you can see the Duramax. Look at my solar. It's got a lot of weight on that solar. I should almost clear it off. Let's check out the view. Oh, whoa, that is deep. Holy smokes. You can't even see very far. Wow. So that is salt water out there. You can't really see much though. Just my, look at my footprints. Quentin, what uh, big cat paws are those? <laughs> We've been seeing all the tracks from the moose when we were out there with the Polaris Ranger. This is pretty unheard of for Washington. Whew. Crazy, crazy. Anyways, back into the shop. It's gonna be cool when this is a really set up race shop. I see that in the future. So I gotta bring a Seattle toolbox here and we'll have all these tools ready to go. For those people not familiar with little doodads, you know, I carry a couple extra things that Seattle Tool doesn't make. You need these for the controls. Tiny little instruments. <laughs> and uh, I always forget to use these ones. These, they're really cool because they swivel. So you can work on them like a, a wrench, a socket wrench. Or a driver. Yeah. Same idea as these, right? Here's your wrench with your socket. Okay, I gotta get back to work. Kind of don't even know what to do next sometimes. Gotta think about it. Cheers.